Uh, coach had mentioned turnovers, you know, some bad breaks down there at the stretch. You know, what'd you, what'd you see out there? Uh, you're right. Uh, as a point guard, I do better take a uh, do better job. Of, you know, uh, leave my guys to where we won't make, you know, mistakes like that. But, you know, this is a game we, you know, should have won and then we came up short. And, uh, and we got to move on. Wall had the big rebound and one. Was that really the difference that, down the stretch? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, that's what's been killing us uh, down the stretch. You know, players like that, you know, we got to have it. You know, we made it take a tough shot. You know, we got to end up with that rebound. That was my fault. Now, you really got to go in the second half. Uh, what, what was working for you offensively, I especially was being in the third aggressive. quarter? You know, I've been playing my game, being aggressive. You know, my team need me to be aggressive, man. You know, that's what I'm doing. Oh, it seemed like you and Wall were going at it again. Uh, you know, what's it like playing him? Oh, it's all love. It's all love, man. Once you step on the court, you know, it goes away. You know, but once you step outside, you know, the court is, is all love. Does, does he talk to trash? No, no, no. He really did. He <laughs> really did. Not too much? How about Bradley? Uh, Beal had 42 points career high for him. What was, what was so difficult uh, defending him tonight? He did, a great, he did a great job of, you know, attack. Was it hard to get out and run tonight? It seems like you guys never got into your... I mean, you were pushing it, but you guys didn't have it. Uh, not really. We just got to uh, do a better job of, you know, just executing. Some nights it's going to be like this where we can't run the transition. Uh, we can't let that stop us. You know, I thought we did a great job of, you know, battling. You know, just down the stretch came and was in big. So, you know, you know great plays. Earl was saying it's a big difference with your transition game not having TJ because he just created so much of that. Oh, no, no, no question. No question. I'm going to TJ one of them players break. You know, he definitely you know, set the tone for us in that area. But you know, at the same time, you know, we, we're slacking in our defense. We're giving up you know, way too many points a game. Did you feel like you made some progress in that area tonight? Like you were position this game? I mean, you know, they still scored 100 some points. You know, it's a day. Uh, but it is corrective. Uh, you know, it's on the players. You know, it's on the players go out there. You know, it's it's cute, you know, what the game plan goes back to all of so it's on you. Yeah. The play seemed kind of crazy, the, the animal talk. It was. I, I just mean, kind of bumped into him. No, it was. It was a, it was a crazy play. They made a call. He got a big rebound. Even the ball came off to him earlier, didn't it? Like it just shot off the rim. Yeah, you still had a ball. Devin, Devin had a big game for you guys. You know, what do you see out of his growth in the league so far? He's, he's fighting through. You know, uh, you know, we've been hitting adversity. You know, since he started, and he's just fighting through it. And you know, it's just paying off. You know, I think the win's gonna come. You know, once once we get settled and whatever. Everybody holding up okay. It's been a tough stretch here, especially all the road games. Oh, it is, it is. I mean, we can't stay positive. You know, we can't, you know, uh, pretty much, you know, go off the, you know, the losses right now. Like I said, the win's going to come. We just can't, you know, lose three, four, five in a row. Thanks, sir. Thanks.